everyone, this is Lego My Lego 90 here, and uh, I am doing another breakdown video. So I am breaking down the new official Five Nights at Freddy's movie trailer. Uh, I've watched it. Uh, I've watched the trailer before, so I thought, why not do a breakdown? If you're uh, excited for the Finance Freeze movie, please comment down below. But anyway, let's get that on with the breakdown. So, we start off here what appears to be Mike Schmidt uh, going back home. And you can see he is walking to his house. And we got a scene of Abby over here, which we know to be Mike Schmidt's sister. For the movie, of course. And you can hear that Mike Schmidt is calling the f on the phone going, Hi, this is Mike Schmidt. And he, you can see he is calling for a job. That he, as you can see, he was calling to see if uh, the job that William Afton played by, Willie, by uh, Matthew Lillard has offered is available. And he went yes, and you can see he watches a pig. What's this? Ah. you can see he picks up a pink slip that says "Notice." This is a a notice of uh, delinquency. So yes, you can see Mike Schmidt, played by Josh Hutcherson takes the job as the security guard for the night shift at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. So yeah, here's him right over there. And there's the from Blumhouse with all the lights from the logo. And you can see over here on the daytime with that sign fell down, you know. William Afton said the place was huge in the 80s. They, and mentions something with the kids. And there's the building over there. And at the puddle, you can see he's... Met, William Afton said that he's not ready to let go yet. You know, like with all the incidents and stuff. And you can see over here, Mike is driving to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. And you can see he's got somebody in the car with him. So, you can see that uh, Mike Schmidt is telling his his sister, Abby, that, that, that he will work and, he, and that she will sleep. And there's Abby right there in the back seat with the teddy bear going. I understand. And both Mike and Abby walk to the, the pizzeria. So there was a scene where they go unlock the doors, and you can see they're entering the pizzeria from this main entrance, you know, where there's a candy machine and stuff. All sorts of shit. And you can see both Mike and Abby walking inside the pizzeria. And Mike tells Abby to give her to give him her hand, you know, where where, she, where he wants to keep his sister safe and protected, you know, like whatever the fucked up dangers there are, you know. And here's him in the hallway about to enter the office. And we know we got this scene before from the teaser trailer. And you can see behind Mike Schmidt, there's a couple of drawings over here. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. And we got a closer look at the glass art of Freddy Fazbear, you know, that's over the seats. And we get a better shot of Foxy's uh, shadow over here, even though this scene already played in the teaser trailer already. And you can see at the logo sign again, you can see producer of Megan, you know, like, yes, Blumhouse did Megan. Like, they, they've done all sorts of horror films, like The Black own the purge paranormal activity you know and like 
They've done a lot of horror films, just a lot. They even did Halloween Kills, Halloween Ends, you know? And there's events over here with some mice, rats, you know? That's pretty fucking gross with the rats and the mice, you know? And we got another look at the security office with Mike Schmidt. Now, if you see the employees of the month's pictures, you can see... There are some Easter egg cameos of YouTubers such as Daco, 8 Bit Ryan, Basimellum, Fusion Z Gamer. I'm not sure if there's any other YouTubers that I know that's in the employee of the month. You know. While uh, Mike Schmidt is uh, turning on the phone or the monitors, you know. So, yes. William Afton, played by Matthew Lillard, it goes, all you have to do, or no, or something. Sorry, so many Discord notifications. So Mike Schmidt turns on the Mars. So yeah, William Afton tells him that he's got to keep his eyes on the Mars while he turns them on. And we got another shot of, shot of uh, Mike over here. And there's the original uh, uh, commercial, you know, that play at the beginning of the teaser trailer, you know, while he has the monitor on. And Mike's sitting right there going, okay, you know, like he's all chill and calm, you know, like I got this shit, you know. Uh, you should probably expect some funny moments for the movie. Yeah, a few or a couple. But the movie will be pretty scary and suspenseful, though. And you can see at the security footage, you know, at the monitor that at the entrance is someone buzzing the uh, buzzer, you know. And yeah, there was a scene where Mike Schmidt... Uh, Turned at the monitor, you know, and looking at the person. And that person right there is a police officer, which is Vanessa. And you can see it's coming around this Halloween. And you can see uh, Mike Schmidt lets Vanessa in. So, yeah, she tells uh, Mike that, that, she, that he must be the new security guard. And Mike Schmidt opens the door going, Can I help you with something? Or... Oh, I me I meant uh, he said officer. So yeah, after he asked if if she can if he can help her. So yeah, we get the scene over here where they're in like an office or something, you know, in in Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. So yeah, Vanessa asks Mike if uh, she has met them yet, you know, which she's referring. to. To not only the animatronics, but of course the spirits that, like, possess the animatronics, you know? Which are all the children that William Afton murdered. And we got a refrigerator drawing of Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica, and Foxy, as well as the kids. No, actually, that's Vanessa right there, but yeah... And you can see there's Mike Schmidt looking at the show stage. Now, they showed uh, that scene before at the teaser trailer where he looked at the, the, the show stage, you know, at the animatronics. Yeah, they played that scene before. And Mike Schmidt didn't know who she's referring to when she said them, which is the spirits, you know. And yes, we do got that scene where Mike Schmidt is... Looks to be listening to music while he needs to look at the monitors, you know. Then you can see he starts to fall asleep. And you can catch him sleeping at his where he's resting his head on the desk, you know. Then uh, Mike Schmidt gets surprised and scared when he wakes up. When all the power comes up. So yeah, I wanted to get this scene, you know, while the Tortoro March starts to play, you know. And you can see you got a speaker right here where you attend to hear announcements and stuff. And some uh, storage, you know, like you would hear announcements out of that speakers at public places like a school or, you know, 
anything business related. And we got the arcade area over here. Like we got a claw machine and a cyclone. Yeah, those are the arcade games, you know. Yeah. It all looks pretty cool over here. Even doing it like kind of like Chuck E. Cheese in a way. And we got a prize corner over here with the masks and some Funko license plushies, you know. Where there's a lot of spider webs. There's that garbage can and that menu and that area with the cash register where you probably either pay or get the pizza or, or something, you know. Then you see the curtain open up with the animatronics of Freddy and Bonnie. And where there's a show playing over here. And you can see Mike Schmidt over here, I think, you know, starting to wake up from the office. But, I mean, it does look like storage area, but it, it most certainly could be the office. I'm not sure. And you see a spark coming from Bonnie's guitar, you know. Yeah, it's pretty fucked up. And you can see Mike Schmidt is looking at the breaker or something. Or the power generator, I what could be but Mike Schmidt tends to uh, turn his head back a little in this scene to see whatever the hell is going on then here's the, the key, a keyboard you know where he turn, it tends to turn on the monitors and you can see he's switching cameras over here and we got better shows a, sh a better shot, you know, where it's showing the exact, like, way of the show stage for the first Finance Freddy's game, you know, on how the animatronics are standing in their positions. Oh, and we got a shot of Foxy over there, as well as his shadow. And Vanessa said uh, it's been the same since the 80s. Actually, I was wrong. She said kids went missing in the 80s, but yes. But we get this scene where some guy died, you know, getting dragged by either an animatronic or William Afton. And we get a shot of Vanessa over here. And she said that uh, we searched Freddy's top to bottom. And we get a shot. A shot of Abby over here, you know, walking in the pizzeria. And she's, when she doesn't know what's going on, she went, hello? And we start to hear some laughing from a spirit while she looks at Freddy. We already got this scene before. Then you tend to hear Abby scream, you know. Where it's showing the location with the logo in the daytime. So yeah, we got a scene over here where there's Hank, you know, by that truck. With a few other what seems to be thugs or something, you know. Breaking into the pizzeria, you know. And Vanessa tends to give reason why the place has shut down. or I'm not sure if she said never, but... Anyway, you can see you get this scene of Bonnie with the shadow over here. And you can see Bonnie attempts to kill Hank in the broom closet over here. And uh, Mike Schmidt asks uh, Vanessa if there's ghost children possessing animatronics. So we go back to the woods here. You can see this trace drawing of Bonnie. And we get the scene of Mike Schmidt over here in the forest. And we get a kid representing Foxy with the with the hook. You know, we know this is a ghost kid. And we already got this scene before where the kids are running, you know. Yeah, the ghost kids that possess the animatronics. Like, we got this scene from the teaser trailer. Then uh, Mike Schmidt tends to thank Vanessa for the heads up on this scene. And we already got this scene before from the teaser trailer where Freddy is behind his back. And Vanessa said technically they're animatronics. Uh, animatronics. Oh, what the fuck. But anyway, it says when the night shift starts over here. 
And we got this uh, welcome entrance over here. Looks pretty fun themed, you know. And yeah, there's Abby right over there. By the way, since she's in a change of clothes or something, this could pl take place in a different night, but I don't know what night, though. And while we get this shot of this cool shot of Bonnie with this either yellowish eyes or the normal eyes, so Mike Schmidt asks, what do they want? And we got a shot of Abby over here with the drawings. And Vanessa starts answering, they want to make her into them, you know, like, make Abby into the animatronics. And we get this shot of Abby over here. And we got another cool shot of Foxy over there, over here. I think they showed a scene of Foxy, but I probably wasn't able to pause. But yes, this is a cool shot of Foxy. And there's Abby right over there. And you can see there's Mike Schmidt in panic over here yelling out for Abby, you know. And we get a shot of the cupcake over here. And while you hear some screaming going on, it says the nightmare begins. And Mike Schmidt goes, how to tell me how to stop them. You can see that Mike Schmidt is running in the mall, you know. If you remember the scene that we've gotten, you know, from a recording. Yes, so yes, Mike Schmidt is like, tell me how to stop them. And we got a little girl over here, and you tend to hear some crying or screaming, you know. By the way, this, yeah, I tried to do a quick pause, but if you guys didn't know, there was a hand coming out of Freddy's mouth what appeared to be a spirit and you can see she's screaming so yeah there was a hand that came out and yes while I'll break down the rest of the trailer I am gonna have to pause quickly so that way I can break the scenes down and cover up everything and it looks like the little girl tends to get eaten up by Freddy or something you know where the chair is flipping over. And we already got this scene before when Foxy crushed the ball. That's from the ball pit. And you can see have Abby is hiding behind a arcade machine over here. Trying to get away from either the animatronics or William Afton. So yeah, Vanessa says it's too late. And we get this pissed off look at Freddy over here. Freddy does look pretty cool. Not gonna lie. But it looks pretty fucking cool. Then you can see Mike Schmidt over here. Looks like he's humming or something. Or it could be someone else that's humming. And we got William Afton inside the Spring Bonnie suit. It could be the Spring Trap suit, but it most definitely could be Spring Bonnie. And you can see Abby panicking over here, like, kind of screaming, you know. And while uh, Mike Schmidt is laying down after he fell over or something or hiding or whatever the hell he's doing, he goes to tell Abby to go run or go, you know. Then Abby attempts to go run and escape the pizzeria. We got this Ford scene where there's a kid inside the car, you know. But yeah, that could be a hallucination, you know, like Daco predicted, you know. And you can see Mike over there. And we got a camera footage shot of Bonnie and Chica over here in black and white while they go look at the camera. You can see that the cupcake is missing. And we got somebody laying down over there, whether this could be Miss Sefton or Mike Schmidt's mother. And we got Abby laying in the hospital with uh, Mike Schmidt visiting her, you know. Abby could have either gotten stabbed by William Afton or maybe attacked by an animatronic. You notice that scene where Mike is punching someone, you know. Even the guy about to stop him. 
Mike, Sh you can see that Mike Schmidt is punching somebody in the fountain like we what we got from that recording feed. You can see that Mike Schmidt was once working as a security guard at the mall, but got fired and wanted to look for a job. And that's the job as a night guard uh, in Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. And you can see Mike Schmidt looks to be uh, a s hiding in a vent, you know. Trying to, like, uh, hide from the animatronics. Or William Afton. Or who, who the hell knows. <laughs> but yeah, it could be the animatronics. And, and we got this shot of Spring Bonnie or Springtrap holding a knife. Uh, it looks pretty fucking good. You gotta admire the Jim Henson Creature Company. Like, they have done such a good fucking job working on these animatronics. I'm gonna have to give that good review when I go see the movie. And you can see Mike Schmidt seems to be escaping, you know. Yeah, trying to find a way out, you know. And he's got something on his back. Either it's a knife from William Afton... Or, you know, something that could have hurt or gave Mike a wound from the animatronics. Then uh, Mike Schmidt attempts to yell for help, you know. Actually, I was wrong. Mike was Schme was uh, screaming, actually. But, you know, there could be some fake scenes that could be somewhat accurate, you know. Where you can see the change when the movie hits theaters and streams on Peacock. And we already get got this scene, you know, with the gears from the Freddy head, you know. Which is a way of stuffing Mike into a Freddy Fazbear suit, you know. And we got this cool new logo of the title for the Finance Freddy's movie. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Oh, and, and that this taxi here, we get a cameo of the YouTuber Corey Kenshin, you know, as a taxi driver. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Corey Kenshin as the, as the taxi driver goes where to. And while he moves the, the rear view mirror. So yes, he witnesses Golden Freddy over here. Then Corey Kenshin, in a funny moment, goes, Why do I always get the weirdos? You know how Corey Kenshin is like, you know? And and in the back, you can see Golden Freddy and uh, Abby over here. So yeah, Abby's giving a smile, and especially smiling at Golden Freddy, you, you know, like, from the teaser where Golden Freddy tends to help Abby, you know? Uh, yeah, you're gonna... We, we're going to expect a lot of YouTuber cameos, even for the Easter eggs. Like, we could get Markiplier, even MatPat, you know. And there's that shot of Golden Freddy and Nabby at the front of the pizzeria. And it says, in theaters and streaming on Peacock on October 27th. But yeah, I cannot wait to see the Finance Phrase movie. It's going to be amazing and it's gonna be re-watchable you know for some lore and stuff so yeah directed by emmy ta and a tammy and finds phrase movie.com and the copyright of universal release and 2023 universal studios with the universal logo and the blumhouse logo but yeah that's my entire breakdown video on the five nights of freddy's movie tell me your thoughts you know let me know if